to race for the car, and Junie Morgan's gonna pick a star. Dom DeLuise. Dom, yes. uh, a cockapoo, a cockapoo oh. is a crossbred dog. Yes. We get the poo from a poodle. Where do we get the caca? <laughs> from the backyard. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, we get it from a uh, caca spaniel. Caca I agree. Ro, you have Scruffy. Isn't he a cockapoo? No, he's a, he's a miniature poodle that grew to be this big and that, that oh, long. Oh, is that it? Well, he looks like a cockapoo. No, he's, a he's a, a sheepdog. Oh, I see. Sheep. Anyway, a circle goes there, and Bill, it's your turn. Elizabeth Montgomery, please. All righty. According to an Associated Press report, if a girl in China is looking for a husband, what is the first thing she finds out about him? Huh. <laughs> 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 Uh, it wouldn't be his political background because she'd know that, I guess. Um, where his family comes from. Where his family comes from. I would agree. No, his political ideology. Oh. You were right uh, in You're the first kidding. place. Yeah, with a circle. Interesting. Sorry. Okay, Judy. Paul in. Paul, true or false, watches with dirty pictures on the face were popular in Victorian England. Well, the big hand is on nine. <laughs> yeah, the big hand is on nine. And the little hand is on the donkey. <laughs> <laughs> but were they popular dirty pictures on the face of watches? Yes. I agree. Oh, very, very popular. Okay, Bill. Not a McDonald box. Right. Right. In the near future, we will have an official bisextile year. But we usually call it something else. What? A bisextile year. But we leap year. Leap year. I would agree. Leap year. Yes. Very good. Oh. Well, that's good. Rosemary. seven hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> roll. What is John Brown's body? I found it to be very warm and wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, John Brown's body was a, was a poem. Poem. I agree. And later a song by Stephen Vincent Benet. Yes, okay, you've got yourself $750. And we're going to clear the board. Every cubicle correct is worth $50. Bill, take a start. Jonathan Winters, please. All right, Jonathan, according to Penthouse magazine, what is probably the single most common motive for murder? <laughs> well, it's such an exciting magazine in the barber shop. Um, what is the most common motive? Single most common motive for murder. For murder. Yeah. Well, let's see. I would have to say uh, the single most common motive would be uh, the the lack of ability to break a 20. <laughs> Jonathan does not know the answer. Oh, now let me explain what that is. That was our audience booing that answer, Jonathan. No, that is our buzzer, which means time is up. But this is worth $50 either to Bill or to Judy. And I, first of all, Bill, would you like this question? Yes, I'll take it. Jealousy. Jealousy. Right. For the next there. Bill, you've got $300 in cash, and you've won a secret square worth over $4,000. I hope you had some fun this evening. Okay, great. stay right there. We're going to add up all the uh, uh, Judy Morgan score here. Hello, Judy. <laughs> $750 in cash. You are the big winner, so congratulations to you, young girl. Thank you, dear. Bye-bye. It's Pontiac Smart New Subcompact Astro. Distinctive styling with responsive four-cylinder engine and high overall economy. Overhead cam, three-speed floor shift, furnished by Pontiac. Incidentally, Dom DeLuise has a great new film out. It's called Sherlock Holmes, Smarter Brother, and I understand it is magnifique. It's fun. Gene Wilder and Madeline Kahn, thanks for mentioning it. Okay, and uh, Elizabeth Montgomery, as I mentioned, Dark Victory, and Jonathan Winters, soon to be seen his special 200 Years of American Humor. And uh, I want to thank my friend JJ and Teresa. That's my mom, and nice to see you again. All of you, it's been a fun evening. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. We'll see you here next time for more fun on the Hollywood Squares. Judy Morgan, congratulations also to Bill Morse. Thank you so very, very much. Have a good evening.
these are your friends. I would not order the paella if I were you. Unless, of course, you want to spend a night on the toilet. <laughs> oh, you were just leaving? My mistake. Have a nice day. These are your foes. Hey, man, your new girlfriend is hot. When she dumps you, have her call me. Congratulations. When do you do? You're not pregnant? Friend or foe? It pays to know. Friend or foe, the new game show hosted by Kennedy premieres June 3rd on Game Show Network. This has been a Merrill Heater Bob Quigley production.